Hello, uh, in this uh, lab, I will uh, just show you how you can uh, configure your AWS resources uh, to Eclipse. Okay, Eclipse is uh, this SDK software uh, distribution kit, okay, where uh, you can download this Eclipse uh, from eclipse.org downloads. Uh, this is for Windows, you can uh, download this x64. Uh, I have already downloaded. So, which should be something like uh, 110 MB. So, once you have this, just run this. Just run. Okay. So, this should install uh, Eclipse on your Windows 10. This is a lengthy process. This includes even uh, your Java runtime environment. Okay. You can select this installation and say install. Uh, use more or less all the default options. Just wait. I'll be right back. Okay, once the installation is finished, you can launch this uh, Eclipse IDE. This is 2021. Okay. Just continue and meanwhile what you can do is you can go to your AWS account and then go to my security credentials we need to get your access keys so for every user Amazon provides an access key okay you go to access key uh, I do already have an access key and uh, what we call a secret key uh, what you need to do if you want you can create this and you can download a copy. So once you download, like this root key, you get a key. So this is very essential for us, access key ID and uh, uh, the secret key. Yep, like this secret key, these two are required. Meanwhile, you can download that. And now, yes, uh, you have almost installed this. So here, uh, this, and you can see even a help also is there. Check for updates or install new software, sorry, install a new software. Here what you need to do with the HTTPS slash slash AWS Amazon.com slash Eclipse. So this uh, should download, okay, uh, you can say my name Anand and say add. This should uh, search the website and then download various kind of relevant plugins so i will uh, select all developer tools okay optional uh, android development if you want you can uh, development tools all the things and then say next so it should uh, take some time uh, by downloading all the relevant tools so you see rds management just say next one by one it should uh, uh, download i accept and just say finish you can see this installing the software of uh, various kind of plugins okay let me come back So restart Eclipse to apply the software update. You can uh, restart now. Or so I just restarted Eclipse once again. It's starting IDE to accept all the changes to configure all the changes. Yes, I can close this. This is my main dashboard. You can see now AWS Explorer. It is configuring all the additional setup. So once if I click this AWS setup, you can see. Uh, again, all the plugins are available. Amazon S3. So you see this icon, uh, AWS Toolkit uh, is now uh, explored. So I think we need to configure first. Preferences, yes, you need to give this access key and your secret access key. If you don't, then you will not access anything. 
so as I mentioned your access key and the secret access can be downloaded by creating this I'll just provide this one name and access key this is considered to be the secret so I have copy pasted and say apply and close so now this should register uh, to your instances sir. okay now I can go and explore my resources and then S3 create a new bucket I will say okay so now let me see verify whether I have a bucket here or not just refresh yep your bucket is created in this way you can interact with the Eclipse now expand this you should see this bucket right so you can create a new bucket or you can even uh, delete this bucket let me see this delete bucket so yes right the bucket should be deleted okay no buckets same thing here also instances you can change the region to not Virginia okay and apply this will be apply. okay I have some instances which are terminated I'll go to explorer okay that's all about uh, the Amazon uh, Web Services plugin on Eclipse. And not only that, you can view your RDS, Cloud Formation, Cloud Front, Lambda, and all any functions you can, which is uh, inbuilt inside this SDK. Okay, uh, thank you and bye.